uh, what is my concept of God, was the question. Well, uh, the, the cute answer, of course, but it's true, but it's cute, is that my concept of God is that God is beyond concept. That is, that's the whole thing of gate gate, that it's beyond any model you have of how it is. Um, every model I have of God, whether I see, for example, um, I can see the different aspects, like there is that God which manifests all form. You'd say the father of the universe or the mother of the universe. Right? There is that God which is the universe, so it's, this is all God. That's another way of seeing God. So God has manifested God. Behind the God and the manifestation of God is that which is unnameable, unknowable, unseeable, unsmellable, untouchable, unconceivable. That also is God. That's equally present as all the rest of this. There's three aspects. Right? There is that which is in each of us, which is a part of that, which is also God. So in a way, it's like in the Buddhist, in the uh, Hindu uh, uh, consecration or offering into the fire, I offer that which is God to that which is God, and I offer it into the fire which is also God, and I who am offering it am also God. Realizing God is one with God, I come to the oneness. Right? But from a functional point of view, Within dualism, you use different aspects of these models for your work to get, to get closer to God, right? So that I can stay within a dualistic framework in which there's God and here I am, knowing that in the end, God, guru, and self all turn out to be the same thing. And furthermore, to take it out one more level, they all turn out to be an illusion, because all concept is an illusion. And behind the illusion is God too, right? so that God becomes the void as well as the form, right? In other words, it's a concept you can play with to keep stretching your mind, because there isn't anywhere where it isn't, right? It's the law, and it's the absence of law. It keeps doing, dealing with the polarities, okay?